Hey guys, I'm going to start a finish 12 by the 4th of July. This is inspired by Meg, Meg's Makeup 8. I am so awestruck by <laughs> her project Pan Roulette finish 24 by July 4th, which is her birthday. And I had to do something to join in and I'm not brave enough to Number one, do a roulette, or number two, have 30 products going at one time. But I have customized it to my needs, and I have decided to have 15 products, but I want to finish 12 of the 15. So hopefully, I can bust this out. And I really, there's certain products that I just ended, I just finished a project 10 pan and there's a few products that were in that that I want to try to continue working on and there's a few sample products you know and then there's products that are almost new so this is all makeup just so you know all makeup so here we go first of all I have the two products I was talking about that was in a project 10 pan the first one is the Lancome uh, Tinsdale Ultra stick makeup foundation whatever you call it um this i need to put a mark on it where i am right now but this was in my project 10 pan and this is in the shade 210 buff neutral which i have to use it in combination with a different shade of this but i really would want to use this up you know I could use it in the center of my face however it's in the project I want to use this off by July 4th that's the point right right sometimes I just talk too much you know what I mean so here's another one the Smashbox photo filter powder foundation in the shade 2 uh, my goal for my project 10 pan was to hit pan and I have used so much of it that I really want to continue using this I've Fingers crossed I can finish this by July 4th because I would love to see this big old, uh, what is it, 9.9, .9, almost 10 grams of powder done. I would just love that. Okay, and then here is a challenge for sure. This is a Burberry Earthy Blush in 07 Light Glow. I really like this. It was It's the sample size that came in a little kit, Sephora kit, but <clears throat> I can use this as an eyeshadow. I can use it as a bronzer. I can use it as a blush. So I really would love to use a, a product like this. It has 2.5 grams of product and I have use very little of it you can see all the embossing is basically still on there so I've just been thinking about this and thinking about this and I just love to use it up but I probably would keep the packaging forever because it's just it's weighty and so nice okay another challenge is the um, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow I don't know why I always want to say Super Shock Cheek but Super Shock shadow in it girl crush and this is one of their mattes and i haven't used this too terribly much a handful of times and i like to just dab it on my lid just take some dab it on my lid and then top it with a whatever shimmery shade i'm using or whatever so i would love to use this all the way up but if I hit pan, I'll be super happy. Like real pan, not just dig my finger in there type pan. But yeah, I really <clears throat> would love to see this gone. Okay. And then this is a brand new Makeup Forever HD um, powder. And it's like a deluxe sample size. It's one gram. It's brand new. Never even used it. It looks like there's that much in it to start with. So, yeah. I want to finish this completely up. I have a full size powder that I really want to open, but I, I want to use all my sample size loose powders before I bust into a full size. So, this would be one down. 
Okay, then I have the Brow Bar Brow Definer in Cinnamon Spice. I got this in a birch box a few months ago. And it's a warmer shade than I'm used to, but it works. I've only used it a couple times. There's this much product in here. It takes me forever to use up brow pencils. But um, I'm really wanting to, needing to dye my hair, my grays be popping, and I want some more red in it uh, this time. So I figured that'd be a good time to try to use up this warmer brow pencil. So hopefully get that one going. And then I have a Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in blacker. And it's one of these fine point. That is really black. I look like a marker going on. But I've only used this once so far. And you, you can't twist it back down once you twist it up. So it's basically brand new. I want to see this gone. But I do, I love these really skinny gel liners. I, I really like these. So I'm excited to see how this formula is versus the Hourglass versus the Maybelline one I just used up versus what else? There was some other, was there not another one? Or maybe it was this one, yeah. This one, <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting to where I'm on the verge of becoming a girl who can use one eyeliner until it's gone. I'm this close because <laughs> I have used up three or four this year and you know they weren't all brand new to start with but it's it's motivating when you realize if you use the same one every day you're gonna get it used up faster. And then I have his Well People uh, Bio Brightener Stick. It's a Birchbox sample in Moonstone and I want to use as much of this as I can, just like in my Project Tin Pan. I just, I want to use it. I want to see more, more progress. I want to try to post a picture of these uh, powder product or these type products on Instagram. So maybe uh, we'll have a place to go and reference the progress instead of having to watch a video. But yeah, and I'm at Nisi Param on Instagram, just like same name YouTube name but I want to just get some more use out of this it's a natural product so it's not gonna last forever and I like it okay <clears throat> and then one more oh. this is the uh, not one more product but I'm, t I'm thinking out loud <laughs> This is the Laura Mercier Vanilla Nuts. I depotted this out of uh, a palette of hers I had purchased. And I kind of messed it up at the top where I depotted it. But I have hit pan. But there's still a lot of products left in here. I would like to use this all the way up. I have gotten to where I'll use the same cream shade to set my eye primer every day. And I have went through a few that way, so I'm trying to continue that path of using the same one. And hopefully I can use this up by July 4th. It might be a little bit of a stretch, but we will see. And then I have six schwa samples that uh, schwa is a is a beauty subscription service that you can subscribe to and get these samples for five bucks a piece or twenty dollars for five samples it's you can do it monthly or by sample or whatever but i do have several samples i have um suspended my membership but my subscription for now because i have so many samples to work through so that's what i want to try to do is finish up the samples i have this is the clay de po concealer uh, in beige this is his concealer that comes in like the stick that's like 70 bucks so i have used it some and i do want to try to finish this off so that is one and then <clears throat> these first three have some more progress on them than the last three do this is the guerlain eyeshadow in taupe secret i have been using this for quite a while when I do use it, I only ever use it in the very inner corner when I'm doing like 
three different shimmery shades on my lid. I'll use it as the, the one that goes on the inner third. So I don't need much of it when I use it, but I would like to just go ahead and finish it off. I just love it. And it's $34 for the full size. That's crazy town. But I just love that shade. And I'm not going to swatch it because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> it's Guerlain Taupe Secret. Okay, and then I have this sample of the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in Indiscretion. And I've used this a time or two. There wasn't much product to this sample. Uh, sometimes with schwa, you get more in certain samples than you do in other samples. I don't know what their method is, but I just want to finish this up. It's just that this shade of highlighter is not one that I prefer. So I want to use that one. And then I have three more products that are basically new samples. This one is the Kevin Aquan Bronzing Veil in Tropical Nights. That is deeper toned. I think I'll have to wait a little while before I start using this as a bronzer because it's pretty deep. But I really want to give this one a go. This Meg raves about those bronzers. And then I have a Tom Ford Cheek Color in Love Lust. And it is really light. <laughs> it's it's really light. You can barely even see it there. Um, so I need to try to work on this now before I, my skin gets too much color to it. So, <clears throat> yeah, y'all. And then the very last thing is this little duo. It's the Marc Jacobs Contour Powder in 40 Mirage. And it has like the banana powder and then the contour powder. And these, I feel like, are better for a fair to light skin tone. And so I want to get this used up before I get to be more light medium skin tone. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's so incredibly difficult to get any kind of brush in these little pans. I mean, look at that. That is hard. So, <laughs> well, that is not going to be easy. I don't want... To be setting my under eyes with a banana side and get some of the contour side and have a big old brown swipe under my eyes. Here we go. Finish 12 by the 4th of July. It's going to be these 15 products and I'm shooting to finish 12 of them and I will give you monthly updates and my phone's ringing. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you Meg for inspiring me yet again and I will see you real soon. Bye.